Okay, now I'm back. I'm going to talk a little slower. But okay, here we are. Oshun, okay. And I did get a reading, even though I didn't know I was getting a reading. So, okay, now I'm... I'm 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 not lazy but I don't feel like learning voodoo. I just feel like taking shortcuts cuz when I started out I was doing the wiccan thing and the new moon and casting circles and all of that and I guess when I get bored with something, maybe that's what it is. I move on to something else. So right now, I'm doing, I'm not even doing voodoo because I don't know how to do it. And I guess you could say, no, I'm not using it. I'm yielding and letting it lead me. Cause I remember I, I when I was you when I was going to uh, what is this church? Not church, but uh Ekin Kara. And they, they do this who they they do that, the meditation like that. Ekin Kara. Ekin Kara, please what it is. Anyway, you can look it up. But anyway, I hung around with them for a minute because, you know, I did a video about me finding this lawyer, this African lawyer, and he did my divorce and did a stop payment on my ex's retirement check. The man was a miracle, but he was practicing that that religion, and he, oh, he wanted me to join so bad, he and his wife. I don't forgot what country they're from, but they're real nice. So I went to some of their gatherings. It's not a church. They just gather in this room. It may be about 20 or 30 of them. And a man will speak. And then they all do this, this chant. They go, who? And it never ends because somebody else chimes in. And it keep, keeps it going. But I learned to do that because not knowing I had MS, I didn't know. But I, I would hurt all the time and had to keep getting massages. So when I did this who, who, my pain was better. So I, I, and I still do that now. When that man was doing that EMG and was shocking the shit out of me, I started who and, and you know anything to to get through these shocks because they it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it hurts, but it's quick and aggravating. So I was talking about Ekinkar because each religion that I go to, I find something that enlightens me and guides me even the reiki man that was something i learned so much with reiki and the symbols and what you need to do to do reiki but the thing about it i guess you could get such a smorgasbord of everything you don't know which one to choose for what situation? Because Reiki teaches you self-healing. So, the problem is, ooh, my glasses falling off my face. Oh, my head crooked. Mm, I favor one side with my neck. Okay. So, uh, I have to remember to do the Reiki when I'm in pain. And when people ask me to send them Reiki or do Reiki. So my thing is with Oshun, I'll have to use voodoo 
as my foundation now, since I'm not into Christianity anymore, which I, I still have the Christianity ba basis, so I still can keep that too. Okay, mm, that hurts. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of these different ideas and theories and use them, not, not making some kind of goulash with it, but, and it's not like I have to make a decision about anything, but use them when I need them for different situations. That's the thing. And don't let one be more powerful or be chosen over the other. Just say all of this uh, is what I use on my journey. It's kind of like, okay, if you're a, a mountain, if you're climbing, say Mount Everest, and you have different tools in your bag, uh, your backpack, and you know you're going to need them, so just keep them in your backpack. That's what I'm going to do. Because, God, I, I still pray, and I still remember the scriptures. But I tell you one religion that I didn't, I couldn't squeeze anything out of was Hindu. Hinduism. Um, with that Vipassana, I couldn't, mm, that, that's not for me to put in my bag, but um, Buddhism, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a peaceful way, and it's a lot like Christianity, so I can keep that. And then, Buddha, you know what? I do have a problem, <laughs> a problem with the ancestors. You know that. You know, I'm like I say, I always got to put my logic on it. Why do you call on your ancestors when we, when they die? We say rest in peace. So why do you go bother them? To fix something or get somebody, <laughs> get somebody for what they did to you. Okay, say for instance, you call on the ancestors to fix something that's you don't that's uh, somebody bothering you or whatever. Supposing they call on their ancestors <laughs> to protect them, so you got these ancestors that are fighting. That, you know, no, that don't make sense to me. And my ancestors, now, my mother, I wouldn't dare bother her with some of the stuff. In fact, I wouldn't want her to, she knows. No, she don't know, because when you're dead, you're dead. I wouldn't want to disturb her with the junk that I could bring to her. So, that's the problem I have with, you know, the ancestors and man, my grandmother, God. Rest her soul. Mm. Me and her didn't. Well, she and I, whatever, we did not get along. And we didn't straighten things out before she died. And so there we are, still at the crossroads. But when I think about her, if we had to hash it out, she would respect me because I am really her. And if she was. <laughs> In my shoes, she would have done what I did. So that I don't have any regrets about what I did. So or what I said, I didn't do anything, but I, I stood my grounds with her. So me, mom, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know why you would have to call them when they're con when they're on your mind. Anyway, I think about them in different situations, but it's not like I'm calling on them, but I do honor them and forgive them and forgive myself. That That's what, that's what I would call calling on them. It's, it's a matter of forgiveness and respect. So, but <laughs> I guess I, I'll, oh man, I, I, I just, I don't know. I can't learn all these Orishas and their names. There's so many of them. I'll read about them, but 
uh, the powers that I have, it comes from a source. And when I was in Christianity, we call it God, Jesus, or whatever. But the source of that power is me, my authentic self. And I guess I'm not going to say I am God, but I am going to say I am God. And in the end, or even right now, I feel like I'm creating me. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense, but I am. I'm remaking myself. I'm turning into somebody, another person, because I'm not the same person I used to be. My niece, uh, the other day, she gave, she pulled up some pictures that, oh, old pictures, 1972. And I'm looking at the pictures and I ask her, who is that lady? And who is that lady? She said, hey, Mary, that's you. And I had to look real hard. I said, oh, that's me? She said, God, that's you. You don't remember? And I look at the other people in the pictures and I said, oh, yeah. But I see myself growing and how I've changed. And it's, it's a process of creation. And we create ourselves, recreate ourselves with the decisions that we make, the sides we choose. And that's still a decision. So right now, today, I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I can, I can understand voodoo, some parts of it. And some parts I don't understand, just like Christianity. Some of it just don't make sense. Some parts of voodoo. All these religions, some of it don't make sense. But Buddhism is the one that, if I had to choose, if I had to choose, it would be Buddhism. So, I'm not going to make a choice. Like I say, I need all of these on my journey. But... <laughs> it's it's late, oh man. And as I say, my pills will be kicking in in a minute. And I don't want to be Roseanne. I don't want to be Jesse Smollett. And and you know what? When it comes to Jesse, when I first heard that, I told my son and another lady. I told this lady. I said, "You write this down on a piece of paper and date it." And I, I, she said, what do you want me to write? I said, write, Jesse is a liar. And she didn't know anything. She's a white uh, Mexican lady. Not white, I don't know what she is. But anyway, she wrote it down. She didn't know who Jesse was. But my son said, Mama, I think you're telling the truth. I said, yeah, that, that story is a lie. But Jesse and... Um, God, I forgot what I was saying. But Jesse um, told these stories that he had a reason for it. But the lessons that we have to learn from spirit on our journey, sometimes they are hard. I mean, hard lessons. But those are the ones we chose. And our spirit chooses them because we can we can pass these lessons and we can learn and remember from them. But anyway, I'm coming up 15 minutes and like I say, I don't want to be like Roseanne or Jesse. I'm going to bed. <laughs> and you guys have a good rest of the evening, okay? Bye.